Hey. Hey. Welcome back to Third World Linux <laughs> Episode something something Yeah, the reason we're laughing is because I had a colorful description of what this episode is going to be <laughs> Yeah, I kind of got off guard about it But, um, uh, off put by it But uh, anyway, uh, we should introduce who we are first I'm Jao My name is AG And we do, and we talk about our life in Linux in the third world like our Linux lives in the third world. Pretty much that. Uh, yeah, and how, how, how we relate things with our Linux lives. But for this episode, wait, which episode we're gonna begin today? <laughs> um, right, so, uh, just, just, uh, just, just a little bit, like, like in the spirit of open source, um, this is uh-huh. the behind the scenes. <laughs> uh, we had, like, <laughs> uh, because, like, the, the, the whole Title 2 thing came out, so, Net neutrality, and we figured that um, we could look at net neutrality as it applies to the Philippines or as it applies to the third world. And we also had this idea of doing a review of uh, Firefox OS phone that came out, the Cherry Mobile Ace something or the other. Something code name whatever whatever. <laughs> yeah. So um, <laughs> so so I, I figured, um, or you figured, or we figured that we'd talk about both. And if we hit anything over an hour, we divide it into two episodes. <laughs> <laughs> which, uh, which should be a good plan. So, but, with, but before we started record, we didn't plan on which are we going to discuss first. So, that's my question of what are we going to start first? Net I say neutrality. Firefox OS. What? <laughs> <laughs> I just have so much beef, and I, I want to get on with my life. But if you want to talk about net neutrality, especially of the recent news here in the Philippines, that the government, the Department of Science and Technology, is about to implement uh, 256K internet speed in the entire country. Wow, that's all I can say. And uh, smart, the communications announcing new Wi-Fi, uh, new internet policies free pretty much because of facebook and whatnot so those things that news came out yeah there's that thing i should double check <laughs> then, so, then, then we should talk about that like now that we can get it out by like monday that way we're like first in news <laughs> and even firster in opinion <laughs> first in news and opinion what a rare sight <laughs> but yeah uh we should we should i feel so iffy about it <laughs> But if you about what the like Wi-Fi throughout the entire country? No, I think that's great because the government is taking steps. It's just that you know, two fifty six k man. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess, I guess. But think and, about and that though. Would it really? But but for me, would it really reach places that need to have internet? Would it really reach that small town somewhere in Palawan that has no reach of? Co- other things such as electricity whatsoever will it really reach the innermost uh, the upper mountains of the Sierra Madre mountain uh, of the Sierra Madre in the northeastern side of Luzon those uh, places that really need to have that internet if you can make a call on the cell phone it's theoretically possible huh because of the signal and uh, if they could use such technology like a mobile wi-fi yeah that sort uh, of devices thing. right yeah 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 because like if you think about what wi-fi is um like uh, Wi-Fi is the thing that your router does, right? Right. Mm-hmm. So, so Wi-Fi is the thing that your router does. But what is plugged into your router can either be like a cable, uh, a cable line, uh, copper wire. It could be fiber. Heck, it could be like three G LTE, right? Mm-hmm. Like you have those mm-hmm. little, those little so pocket it Wi-Fi. Doesn't necessarily things, right? need to be. Yeah. Uh, because I haven't really looked into the in-depth of it, but what I want to know is where would this internet reach? And for me, that's a great government initiative. I'm always up for uh, the government should actually lay the foundation of like, these places need to have infrastructure. And in the side note, I actually wanted to discuss this uh, on an off tangent, but I heard, you know, I'm not in cahoots with the senator, but I I, 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 I recently shot again for that said senator, and we were, he was having conversation with a group, well, large group amongst our, all of us. And what he said was, the next president of the country, the challenge that he needs to fix is 
Our economy is quite okay because of the previous president. And this president, eh. But the biggest challenge Maintain right now the status is quo. infrastructure. Yeah. <laughs> and, and fixing the infrastructure across all the levels. From, from your roads to pipelines to energy and including internet. That's one of the things he said. I'm like, yeah, that's pretty much right, sir. <laughs> should have won. He should yeah. have won. But anyway, <laughs> point is, point is, I like this idea that the government is laying foundation or groundwork. It's just that 256k, I mean, we could ask a bit more, but hey, you know what? What I'm frustrated is, Smarts free internet for Facebook. Uh, smarts free Facebook use. It's like, hmm. And this is where we begin our discussion on net neutrality. Like, right here. Uh, so, like, if, <laughs> if, if, um, if you haven't been living under a rock for like the past five years, um, you should probably <laughs> know, like, at least have an idea of what net neutrality is. But, uh, we might as well define it. Right. You go ahead and do that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> right. Net, net, net neutrality is this concept where um, it's 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 an ideal, right? It isn't so much uh, a matter of law, but it is this idea, this this concept, this ethic, um, where it's, it's a principle where everything that goes through the pipes of the internet shouldn't be like discriminated against right so in effect the internet um a connection to the internet is a dumb pipe and um the internet service providers cannot discriminate between uh different data packets right like if this data packet is a BitTorrent, um if if this data packet goes across our pipe using the BitTorrent protocol, and this uh, packet goes across our pipes using the HTTP protocol, like, the service provider shouldn't make that distinction. Um, Mm -hmm. If this packet is coming from YouTube, and if this packet is coming from Facebook, like, the service provider should not make the distinction. So that is net neutrality, in a nutshell. The free and open internet. Mm -mm. Or what's supposed to be the free and open internet, right? Yeah, yeah. Because there's no, like, uh, the pipes won't have any bias, or the provider won't have any biases as to what information is going through their pipes. Yeah. Oh, and, um, up front, we're not going to be talking about this, uh, in terms of Title II, which is, like, the recent, um, the, the recent classification Update of broadband. By the US go- uh. Right? Like, we're, we're not going to be talking about it in those terms, because, uh, that doesn't apply here. Because, like, in the U.S. Yeah, that's a U.S. Senate. Yeah, that's a U.S. Senate thing. Um, yeah, because uh, it Title II refers to common carriers, right? Um, like, like the idea was uh, the like, like, like why this should apply to the internet is um, under American law, uh, common carriers refer to like boats. Um, well, like, like. Services that transfer goods, right? And mm-hmm. um, they're not allowed to make a distinction in what they carry. Like, all else being equal, um, the weight of your box and the size of your box being equal coming into this boat, we're not allowed to charge more um, for a shoe company. Or less. Yeah, more or less <laughs> for a shoe company than we would, say, like, a clothing company. Right. That's that's the common carrier. And in the US, uh, that idea was applied to or that that idea is what is being applied to Title Two, if I understand it correctly. Um, Here in the Philippines, when we talk about common carriers, we're still talking about boats and airplanes. (laughs) (laughs) Not your Internet service provider. (laughs) Yeah, because they're uh, it's um. Which brings us to the state of how the internet is classified in the Philippines, right? As I understand it, um, a connection to the internet is a value-added service, which means that companies like telecommunications companies aren't obliged to give a connection to the internet at a reasonable and competitive price by virtue of a law... Telling them to do so, 
because it's a value added service, right? That is why I was bringing up the government earlier. <laughs> right, so in an ideal world, and and this um this this is this is my rant from Bodega Nights last week. Um, in an ideal world, that's a great thing, right? Keeping the internet as a value added, uh, keeping a, keeping a connection to the internet as a value added service, um, is sort of the the way for pure capitalism to work, right? Because it's not being um, like like you don't have the government interfering with. There's no government mandate. Yeah, yeah. So, like. Um, price isn't being regulated, connection speed isn't being regulated, and in the pure capitalist economy, that means um, the company with the best service for the best price is the company that is going to like dominate the market, and all of the prices go down mm-hmm. while um, quality goes up. Not the case in the oligopoly uh, that we live in. <laughs> yep. Uh-huh. That's all I could say. Right. So it's it's um yeah like setting up an ISP is tremendously cost prohibitive, so you know like I can't say hey let's start up an ISP and take on like the ISPs that we have now. Well, this isn't the nineties anymore, <laughs> where it's easy to set up an ISP. Yeah, nowadays that the the problem is weird here in the country. Uh, aside from that, your internet speeds are extremely slow. Uh, what the telco providers did was to provide free internet, theoretically free internet, to curb how, because everyone, well, this is unfounded, it's just my personal opinion, of course, but, you know, if it's free, they made the internet free, for mobile at least, so that you won't complain how slow your, (laughs) everything else is. My problem with the free internet, with my, my problem with the free internet thing, is for their promos of the telecommunications company, especially for mobile. Right. So, um, again, we have to make the distinction between wired internet connections and wireless internet connections, right? Mm-hmm. Because, like, you have your wired, uh, your wired internet connections, PLDT, uh, Globe is in on the game, but, um, Sky as of, yeah, Sky is in the game. Um, and then you have Smart and Globe and Sun, but then Sun and Smart are pretty much the with same broadband. company. Yeah. Um, th- those yeah. are the, those are the wireless guys, right? Um, but they have a broadband too. Oh, really? Huh? Yeah. Smart has broadband, Sun broadband, and uh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Are, it's, are these... it's an oligopoly. <laughs> wait, wait. Are, are these wired connections or are these like little? They're mo- wired. So, so, so they're not like little modems with SIM cards in them. No, it's a modem. It's an actual. It's not a SIM card thing. Okay. Huh. There's a Sun broadband in the Sky. Uh, Sky broadband. Yeah. Oh, well, that is a given. But uh, Smart broadband. Yeah. Okay. Aside from the smart in the SIM card thing with the what do you call that mobile whatever which I have, uh, what what was what was it distinction? Yeah, the, the, there's the dis- distinction. This the, the the distinction, um, because like this this is something else that we talked about on Bodega Nights. Um, I was like I can understand I can understand why like our wired connections in the Philippines kind of suck, right? Um, we didn't have the advantage that some parts of the United States did during the dot the com, 90s. yeah, the, the dot com bubble of the nineties, where they overlaid, um, mm-hmm. where they put too much fiber into the ground, a bunch of infrastructure. Yeah, yeah, right. They they laid down the infrastructure like nothing else. Yeah. So like, wh- wh- whereas here, like, we 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 didn't have that. We we had to catch up, right? Um, but but the yeah, because the, we were you know raging revolutionary things here. Right. Well, I, I don't know. I, I guess, but like, yeah, we were in the nineties. Oh, well, well, well it was, oh, yeah, not like it was in the eighties. Yeah, well, in, in, in the nineties, we were still, you know, we were hit by the financial crisis, and um, the same time we were still transitioning. The country was still a transitioning, at least. Yeah, and in the early two thousands, well, that was a, a lot of it was um, because of PLDT's virtual monopoly. Apparently, how uh, yeah. they, they decided not to update their infrastructure because of complacency. Um, anyway. Exactly. Like, like that aside. It was only recently. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It was only recently that PLDT, when, uh, the government, I think, I forgot what the technicality is, but when the market opened up, when other telcos had landlines, like your Biantel, your Globe, your D- Digital, when all of them, oh, Mobiline, right? 
Remember those brands? When they all opened up and competed against PLDT, that everything started uh, becoming, you know, very competitive. It became a market for uh, your consumers now. It wasn't PLDT having a stranglehold on telephones. <laughs> now, it started to, you know, diversify a little bit to the competition that you have now. But at the end of the day, we went back to that oligarchy because few select businesses or business owners bought off majority of those small companies before. Which that's why you only have, yeah. you know, you're on your mobile game, you only have three. In this country of a hundred million people, you only have three major mobile companies. Not three major, just three. <laughs> and they own everything. <laughs> Which leads to well, actually we have bad two. competition. <laughs> we, 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 have, we have two. Oh, because, I mean, what I was like, saying, smart, three. it's just two. And sun. Smart and Sun is pretty much the same thing. Yeah. So you only have two. <laughs> In uh, a country of yeah. 100 million. So much for choice. So, so going back... Well, oh, sorry. Uh, so going back to that distinction, right? Um, so I understand that we didn't have the infrastructure for... Um, wired connections, but uh, the physicist Michio Kaku or whatever that guy's name is uh, said that like developing countries have this advantage going into the future because we aren't so tied to uh, legacy technology, right? So, like, <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, we aren't we 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 aren't tied to legacy technology. We don't have our old wired connections. The great savior mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. of the Philippine internet was supposed to be 3G and LTE. And... Right? Because... And... Right? Because, like, the wired connections, and I understand why the wired connections are so wicked expensive, because we didn't have the infrastructure. Um, we, mm-hmm. we did start building out our wireless infrastructure. And for a good amount of time, it was affordable, and it was wicked fast. But then all of a sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden, fucking Facebook and Spotify came into the market and said, Hey, uh, Globe, we're going to pay you a bunch of money. I'm not sure if this is like exactly what went on, but it we feels have, like what we happened. Don't have, yeah, we don't have evidence. Uh-huh. Oh, no, no. F- f- um, or at least the effect. No, no. Facebook, during one of their, um, during one of their big demagoguery speeches or whatever, um, said something to the effect of, we have a partnership with uh, telecommunications companies in the Philippines to get Facebook to the poorest of the poor. In other words, yep. money exchanged hands, and now Facebook has preferential treatment over the wireless internet, um, over like our 3G and LTE networks. Not just that. You know internet.org, right? Uh, no. Internet.org is an Android app that will give you uh, it's it's pretty much run by Facebook. It's uh, I haven't tried the app personally, but because I'm reading it and out of spite, I don't want to <laughs> really use it. But it's gonna give you um, access to a bunch of other websites. Well, yeah, it's a mix of government websites, news websites, even uh, online shopping websites. But you can access this for free if you're using Smart. Right. So this is. Um, to, <laughs> to all of our, like, American friends out there that think about, that, that, that have this, this dreaded, uh, worst case scenario of your ISPs giving you packages. Like, oh yeah, you can have the Google package where you get, um, YouTube, G+, of, whatever, uh, like, whatever. A gigabyte of YouTube every month, say. Yeah, so where you, where, where you start slicing up the internet into these nice little packages like, um, your TV station, or like, like your cable providers do, right? Like, you can have the family package or whatever. Like, if that's your worst case scenario, that's exactly how it is here. At least, <laughs> um, at least for the wireless, uh, at, at least for 3G and LTE, right? Um, because as far as I know, with the exception of Globe, that's why I'm really mad at Globe when they came into the broadband space because, like, all of a sudden they have this unlimited Spotify thing going on, um, and probably unlimited Facebook. I'm not sure, but like, at least with the wireless space, that's how everything sort of is, right? The latest plans from Globe are what they call lifestyle bundles or some 
some mm-hmm. bullshit like that. Like 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 quoting from um Star Wars. This is how uh, democracy, democracy dies, dies or something. Uh, with 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 a cheer. <laughs> the internet dies. Yeah, with a cheer because holy shit, we get uh, Spotify for free. Um, no, we get yeah Facebook for free. Yeah, yeah, you get Facebook for free, and uh, that that's a good thing. But then at the same time, that's also a really bad thing, at least for at least for us in this sort of independent media space. Because um, I, I, I'm just trying to imagine, like, if we go up to fucking Globe or something and be like, hey, um, can you get us into one of your to lifestyle bundle, uh, yeah. cheap lanes? Uh, free access, <laughs> yeah. Free access to all Channel 14 content. Yeah, they'll be like, huh, <laughs> I'm sure they're... Huh, huh. Yeah. Oh, man. So, yeah. Mm. And, what, and what disturbs me is... <laughs> And what disturbs me is that some of our friends have this idea that, uh, well, no, well, but then this is net neutrality in America, um, where the government has stepped in and said, we're going to be taking a little bit more control over, um, the internet, which also has its, its, its set of problems, right? Like, who do you want to be, uh, who do you want to be screwed over by, right? Do you want to be screwed over by big companies or do you want to be screwed over by big government? Um, they're, they're equally horrible. But then at the same, <laughs> like, like, you know, I, I have, um, as a, as, 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 as like a, a punk rocker or whatever, like, right? As, as a, as a punk rock generally. That's, like, that's, angry that's person, Armageddon. Yeah. Right? That's Armageddon for you. <laughs> or you die for, you die for your government or, you know, I forgot what song was I was quoting. Um, uh, anti flag die for your government. That anti flag, right? like, yeah. yeah. Would you die for your government, or would you be effed in the A by a freaking corporation? But your Comcast. <laughs> so, so it's it's like one of those damned if you do, damned if you don't kind of things. At least in um, at least in it at least in the U.S. Um, and and it might go that way here as well, um, given recent like Senate. Uh, not proclamations, but like, the thing is, you know, debates in the Senate. I don't think it's not going to go down here. Everyone in this country is angry at the government. But one thing that this country loves is if it's free. If it's free, they're not going to complain. And they're offering this for free. Have you seen the comments? They're thanking freaking smart for this. Woohoo, free Facebook. Wow, free access to this and that. I have free internet. Their complaint is it's not fast enough. That the free isn't For fast me, enough. For that's what... Yeah, that's what breaks my heart. We are such a consumer country. This country does not create. This does not create. They don't know the, the hardship of creating a content that you want to put online, that you want people to see. If they have that, and they have that toggled by someone else, and they don't have it controlled, I'm sure they're not going to be happy about all of this favorable... What do you call this? The, 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 the providers favoring certain sites. And, and that's what breaks me. I mean, and, and, and I will admit to you, I've admitted to you, sometimes I buckle because, I mean, when it, when the going gets tough and you have a few pesos to spare, I'm gonna get that five pesos unlimited ways for a day. <laughs> Cause I have no choice. But you know, and the thing yeah. is, ways is the only one that's doing it right. I, for Firefox OS, I checked that here maps. I'm not sure if what if 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 we don't have here maps support here in Manila or the phone is crap or the app is crap. I have no idea, to be honest. We'll get to that. <laughs> we'll get to that. That's a different story altogether. <laughs> but what I'm saying is what I'm saying is sometimes you don't have any choice. Or or if there may be a choice it's not the one that suits best of what you needed to do. And well, if there's an yeah. option out there to use it in a cheaper alternative, does the five best all day or the free Spotify or whatnot, people are gonna, the people in this country are gonna tend to use that. And they're being gonna, they're gonna be grateful for that. Yeah. As much as I don't see it that way. <sighs> as, as an act of defiance. Like, <laughs> as an act of defiance, <laughs> I decided to, um, I, I decided to give up the like two gigabytes Spotify allowance or whatever, and instead have it charged against my normal bandwidth. 
um, on my on my mobile phone as as a sign of defiance against the man, even though it probably cost me a bit more. But then if I exactly. could, but then if I control and myself, in the same way that I'm down to 15 cigarettes a day. Ah! <laughs> Good for you, sir. <laughs> Which is why I'm so angry. <laughs> it shows, man. It shows. This this has nothing to do with net neutrality. <laughs> <laughs> Nicotine neutrality. <laughs> Uh, it is an aside. But here's the problem, though, and here's what we have to think about further. How do we solve this problem? You have to have be zero cigarettes by the end of next month. No, not that problem. Uh, net neutrality. How do we solve? How do we solve this problem when the problem is our own attitude as a country? Or I don't know if the other developing nations are are having this issues as well. I'm not sure about Malaysia, India, or whatever, oh, or, or uh, 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 different countries. I, I was doing... Um, sure, what? I, I was doing, like, preliminary research for this episode, and uh, apparently, um, this is, like, a third world thing, because it makes a lot of economic sense if all you do is browse Facebook to ask your mobile service provider for... Like to just charge for Facebook. Yeah, to just charge for Facebook. It's it's that culture of sachets that is so um it's, it's that sachet culture that is so prevalent in the developing world where we can't afford an entire box of shampoo, so we get it in sachets. Even though in the long run you're doing a lot more damage to the environment and to your wallet. Like um because of the pressing need for food now, um uh, because because we can't afford to have a lot of food and spread it across, uh, you know, the entire month. Like we're forced to have a little bit every day. It's it's that sort of culture, and it's um, mm-hmm. it, it it happens across the developing world. So, like there was an article that I read that that talked about how net neutrality isn't the norm in the third world, um, and, and we see that here, and um, in the same way that. Uh, having a, sh- a sachet of shampoo that t- to last you for two days instead of having like a bottle of shampoo that'll last you for a month um, does more damage in the long run. I-, I think the same thing will happen here. Um, and and when I say damage in the long run, I mean like like damage the environment, etc. Right? Because you can um, refill mm-hmm. a bottle of shampoo. You uh, whereas with the sachet, you're throwing more plastic into the ocean. Um, so, so not, not, not that I'm equating the damage in that way, but like it is damaging to just, just the, the Yeah, just yeah. a metaphor. Yeah, just a metaphor. Yeah. So there, that's, um, it's, it's economics. So, which, kind of, mm. which, which is kind of why I admire Cambodia. Stepping off there at the airport. You're gonna see like seven <laughs> internet, uh, like mobile phone providers, all giving different options. Oh yeah, different price points, different options. Like for me, that is the ideal world, man. Yeah, although that should have been the I, case. Exactly, exactly. But then I, I really wouldn't know. I, I wouldn't know because like yeah, I mean we wouldn't know. Uh, but the choices and the price points that they offer, the speeds that they provided, uh, that's really good. At least for me, that is. Yeah. A okay. I think and it's it, still a bit pricey. Yeah, it's still a bit pricey. pricey. I, I, I su- it is pricey. Like five dollars or three, yeah, five dollars for three days. I think that's pricey. That's why I got what, eleven dollars for twenty days, which w- even though I only used it for fifteen. Anyway, it's still very pricey in my book. That's eleven dollars. That's eight hundred pesos. That's one month here. It's still pricey. So I, I, I don't know, but at least they have choices. And yeah. what we don't have here is the choices. There's we are one of the biggest users here in the country. I don't know, and 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 the barrier to making or having your own ISP here is just so freaking high that I'm not sure. Maybe it's just. I mean, here I am again thinking that the great savior would be Google. It's I don't know if they could you know even make a dent. I hope they do when Google Fiber arrives. If I hope they do make a dent. 
if they will arrive, if they will have interests in a developing country. Because for them right now, personally, if I'm running Google, I have the platform cornered. Yeah. But then and the other... You have, yeah. you have people like Facebook who are pushing to have internet in the country free anyway. I'm not going to use my resources on that. Hmm. They're using it. What are they going to use to access Facebook? Not their desktops, but their Android phones. So, you know, it's a win-win. <laughs> then the other difficulty with... um, It's, it's, it's weird, though. It's, it's weird. Because um, a, a, a possible solution, right, is to get uh, government regulation to say, like, this is the, in, uh, the, the minimum speed that you have to provide... And this is, that is the minimum that price. That is what I'm leaning towards, actually. Right. Which our friends disagree, but that's what I'm leaning towards. But then this the is... The government uh, should regulate it. But then, um, in, like, in, in the US, the reason this sort of problem kind of happened was because of the way that the government started handing out franchises for, uh, telecommunications companies, right? They, they, they divided up the US into regions and said, okay, like, AT&T, you rule this little fiefdom and like you rule this little fiefdom. Um, so, so it's, it's, it's sort of the government having to pick up their own slack, right? Here in the mm-hmm. Philippines, it's sort of the same thing as well. Like part of the reason that it's so cost prohibitive to set up any sort of business here is because of the amount of under the table, um, what's it? It's, it's, it's things it, you have to do. Yeah. Like it's just, just think about how much, um, how much grease money you need. To get anything done, um, in, in, in this. Just to build the freaking cell site. <laughs> yeah, the cell site. Um, th- this is, uh, this is why, like, I, I sort of get the argument as to why, like, our connections to, to the internet here on our mobile phones are so wicked expensive. Um, part of it is the amount of grease money you have to pay to get a cell tower up. And then on top of that, you have to worry about um, fake communists and hungry Muslims from. You, you have to, you have to start defending it against fake communists and hungry Muslims from, you know, deciding to take down your tower, right? Like, <laughs> like it's it's either it's either you have a private army to defend your cell tower or you pay revolutionary taxes to the NPA, <sighs> which you know you just pay because it's. Less of a hassle. And then you can always ask your consumers to, you know, cover the costs. Yeah. Just like, uh, in our electricity bills, we have the, what's called, uh, what do you call that? I, I forgot the term, but it's pretty much the reasoning behind that power outage loss or anything this. Service loss. Yeah, service loss fees. Which, uh, Meralco's way of saying that, yeah, this is the money that is, we lose because people are using jump cables <laughs> for, <laughs> For, for, for the electricity, you know, to steal the electricity. Yeah, this is the money we lose and we're gonna take it off from you. That's <laughs> sort of, um, but that's sort of like the, uh, like, like in the US, there's like a telecommunications tax though. It's, it's, it's like, oh, it's not a telecommunications tax. Um, it's, it's like something that you pay in your phone bill every month to make sure that everybody has a connection Others. to a landline. Yeah. Like, uh, I, I, but, I sort of but, wouldn't mind doing that. But, but, those are for legal applicants. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I don't want to pay for someone who is squatting, but if someone really wants to apply in the Cordilleras to have a phone or an internet connection, I don't mind paying a, a little sum so that everyone would have a guarantee of it. Oh, uh, I, I don't know how it works um, with uh, Meralco in Manila, but here in Cebu, uh, Veco, if um, yeah, if they cool. if if they catch you stealing electricity, like they will make you issue an apology in the newspaper. <laughs> like 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 your picture sh- yeah. your picture shows up like in this little one eighth uh, little ad space, <laughs> saying like my name is blah 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 blah, and I am sorry for stealing electricity. That would be a great idea. But we need, we don't have, if you do it here in Manila, you don't have enough newspaper space. <laughs> well, yeah. Which, which goes back, looping back to our early, earliest discussion at the beginning of the episode, infrastructure. 
Yeah. You don't have the proper infrastructure even for electricity. You don't have even proper infrastructure for roads. So personally, the only way for net neutrality, at least for me, to have a solution in sight, not even to be solved, like just to have the light at the end of the tunnel, is for the country's infrastructure to be proper. That's number one. To have easy for for so that everyone could have easy access to the internet and competition in making all those you know laying down the pipes and the cell towers easier. That's number one. Number two is uh, and people are gonna hate me for this, but the government should lay down the law. Yeah, well, well Congress has to put up. Congress has to you know uh, do something about it. Congress or the Senate at least. Yeah. And, and, uh, 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 and there have been there's a senate there's senators who are pushing for it or questioning or did already some inquiries. It's not it's not the senator and want to do it because that senator is a hypocrite and doing it for show. But that's <laughs> my personal political opinions. But <laughs> yeah. either way, I want the government to lay down the law that if you're not delivering this type of speed, you are gonna get sanctioned or you're gonna get ad- um, additional taxes. We're gonna charge you. If you're not doing this service particularly well, you are going to suffer this thing of whatever, which is not happening right now. As Sky Cable calling them out, we have three megs down. Imagine we're paying a couple thousand bucks for three megs down. On an average, we only get 700 KB to one every day. They're not giving us the, the, the speed that we paid for. Even if you complain, falls on deaf ears. That's another thing in this country. Like your speeds are not the speeds it's that they advertise. Up to, huh? Up to. up to. We're taking the American model. Take the American model. That's how they charge. Um, yeah, the there is a senator pushing for, and um, I, I really wish it wasn't him um, or her uh, <laughs> pushing for. Um, when you advertise your internet speeds, you advertise your low. You advertise the lowest end, right? Mm-hmm. Like, like instead of saying if up I'm not to mistaken, three, if I'm not mistaken. you say, yeah, you, um, his, his the 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 his or her proposal is, um, like you you guarantee a minimum, and that's what you charge people for. Yeah, which is which, which, which also kind of, uh, yeah. But then, if, but then if I were the, if you guarantee a minimum, that means that's your ceiling price. Uh, that's your base price for everything. And knowing corporations, they're gonna make sure that base price will stay as high as possible. And uh, well, well, um, if if I were if I were uh, uh, a business, um, that would that would open me up to so much um, potential uh, legal like um, ramifications. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, because because. Because you can't guarantee, like the, the 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 technology, absolutely cannot guarantee sustained download speeds of however many megabits down. You always have downtime, and the moment you have downtime, well, you, you're gonna have to set the bar really low, right? Like 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 if I were business, I'm 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 gonna set the bar <coughs> below a megabit. Because that's <laughs> what I can guarantee, right? Because you're guaranteeing this. Yeah. Like if if that's you read the I, um, uh... like, like if you read um the policies and stuff of our ISPs, they actually do have a guaranteed minimum. It's in the fine print. There is a guaranteed minimum. Mm-hmm. It's something like 128 kilobits or whatever, because that's what they can guarantee. Uh. I think for Sky Cable, that's, that's, for, for our connection, I think they're guaranteeing at around 256. 128 to 256, I'm not sure. But yeah, there is a guarantee in the fine print. Right? So, like, like, like as a business, I wouldn't be able to do that, right? Like, like, mm-hmm. like I can't guarantee a megabit. I can only guarantee 128 kilobits, but that's going to look terrible when I say 128 kilobits for, you know, a thousand pesos. Right, um, <laughs> that that doesn't exactly that doesn't exactly sit well. Entice the consumer. <laughs> yeah, even though it's the right thing to do, which brings me to my point about the private sector versus the government. Right, in a pure capitalist world, that would be amazing. Right, like 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 um, the idea that 
uh, when companies advertise, they advertise what they mean, right? Like they mean what they oh, say, man. whatever. Oh man! Oh, don't get me started on that. Right, right, right. I'll, I'll reserve that for the next topic. <laughs> right, right. That's uh, that's the cap. That, that, that's that's the that's the idea of a good capitalist society. That's perfect capitalism. But in this that's perfect um, capitalism, in in the oligopoly that we live in now, um, again, it's the whether you want to be screwed over by the government or you want to be screwed over by your ISPs. Um, in my case, as much as I have this intense distrust for the government being a punk rocker for the past, like, 20... Whoa, I'm that old. <laughs> uh, yeah, for, for being like a... <laughs> For the past how many there. years of my life? Yeah. How many? Yeah. <laughs> how many? Uh, is is yeah. Um, as as much as I have this distrust of the government, um, I would rather I I would rather put my trust, at least with regard to a connection to the internet, in an entity that is at least theoretically accountable to the people, right? Because. Um, <laughs> there are so many ifs. <laughs> this is such a sad world that we live in. When theoretically accountability, <laughs> we don't put that two together. It should be the case, but it's so sad. But yeah, that's why I side with you as well. Like I'd rather trust. With this case, I'd rather trust the government because my and my reasoning is simple. It's easy to take down a government. It's hard to take down a corporation. Well, wow. that, that that put into like a nice sentence everything that I was saying about theoretical accountability and how um, <laughs> how corporations are juridical persons that have no conscience and no memory and have no soul. Like <laughs> <laughs> they're on, they only serve to uh, the only service uh, uh, the only thing that govern uh, that. Um, Corporation exists for is for profit maximization. It's to make a profit. And it's an entity that will transform itself to whatever it will make it this much profit as possible with the lower means, with as much profit with the lowest cost. That's what a corporation or, or, that's what it does. While your government is meant to serve people. That's why, you know, it's easy to take down a government. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, it's easier to take down so our government. <laughs> And I, right now, yeah, it is. Well, ever ever since, I guess. Pretty much, this is only the Spaniards that lasted here for a couple of hundred years. <laughs> yeah, so like, um, look, our our constitution haven't lasted that long. But at the end of the day, the solution to you know to net neutrality is to take down your government, <laughs> have a revolution of your own. <laughs> Well, you, you, you well, know, you don't use the internet at all. What? <laughs> the, uh, um, okay, so this is, uh, go, going into like off tangent section territory. Um, but it's kind of related, I guess. Uh, we, we had a, we, we attended a lecture by, um, a noted lawyer in the country about the situation in Mindanao. About the mm-hmm. Bangsamoro Basic Law, and mm-hmm. um, this lawyer is violently against the idea of passing of the, of the yeah of 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 the yeah. of the BB or of, 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 of the bill yeah of, yeah, yeah in, in its in its state now right its current state yep yeah the 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 whole you can't have a state within the Philippine state unconstitutional um, and so so uh, during the open forum. One of the uh, people in the audience asked him, um, so, so, so what is the solution? Do we go for, like, do, do we transform, um, our system of government to a federal republican federal. system or whatever? And he said that, um, and, and I agree with him wholeheartedly that the problem in Mindanao has nothing to do with the right to self-determination. <laughs> the type or form of government. Uh, no, 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 right? okay. it's, it's got nothing to do with the right to self-determination of our brother Muslim in the South, right? Um, the, 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 the problem in Mindanao is hunger and corruption and hunger because of corruption, right? Because, um, be, because you have 
um, a lot of corruption in all uh, in, in all levels of government in Mindanao, right? And mm-hmm. because of this rampant corruption, you have very hungry people. Because you have very hungry very people, hungry people, they turn they to, to um, they they re- resort to terrorism and being extremists or whatever, right? So so they 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 turn to sort of m- uh, militant Muslim organizations, right? And um, if you federalize the government or if you pass the BBL. That gives more autonomy to um, our brothers, sister Muslims in the South. You are giving the uh, you are giving corrupt leaders there more power over the people. You, you get it? Or you, you get the idea? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So if you have the most corrupt governor, you say. We're giving you a state, <laughs> right? Like instead of saying like, okay, this is a province, like we're giving you an entire state with sovereignty, right? Like, like no, <laughs> you don't do that. <laughs> um, and I kind of forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> yeah, I, I was actually I was thinking, what's the point of this for regard to net neutrality? <laughs> Uh, yeah, what, what was the point? What were we talking about before this? It was that neutrality, government accountability. The point for me is confusion. No, I'm just saying, I'm just kidding. But to, to, to try to wrap it back again in a very, <laughs> in a very, you know, forced manner. Oh, there, there, there. I got it. I got it. Uh, the solution to okay. net neutrality is the same solution to, um, the problems in Mindanao. Stop people from being mm-hmm. hungry. Because the moment that people can afford a proper internet connection that doesn't rely on free access to Facebook, that's and when buying cheap ass mobile phones. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 when we can start talking about ideas. That's when we can start talking about ideas and ideals. And that's when you're gonna start enabling, and the internet plus the technology you can use it for is all about enabling. What a way to close that uh, episode. That fiery episode <laughs> full of communists. And uh, we, we included punks, communists, taking down the government. What else? What else can we wrap up? I, I, I would like to think that in that episode, we just pissed everybody off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? We didn't um, include some racial violence or didn't say anything about homosexuals. Well, yeah, fine. Did we say about something about women? Not everybody else. <laughs> Oh, I have a. Oh, I, I, I gotta tell you something really? later. I gotta tell you something uh, later about <laughs> off tangent, off tangent, off tangent. But it's yeah, very yeah, sexist. Uh, thank you for. Uh, <laughs> shall we? Shall we wrap up? Yeah. Um. Before before we wrap up though. Uh, okay. Uh, administrative stuff. Yeah. We. Um. I cannot remember who sent the email, but it was a fairly nasty email, and thank you for that. Yeah, we got you know. Yeah, that's why feedback. Accountability. <laughs> Accountability. Just like yes. the Philippine government. <laughs> just like the Philippine government. Uh, yeah, uh, we're, 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 we're trying to make a, thanks. Yeah, thank you. Um, thank you. We're trying to, we're, we're trying to make our show better. <laughs> trying to do a little bit more research. <laughs> um, th- yeah. Yeah, thank you, I guess. No, and, uh, we're gonna thank try you. to stick to, uh, every other week's schedule because as it stands, our schedules right now are insane. Finals week next are week. Insanely Woo-hoo. busy, and uh, freelance work is just insane. Oh my god, I don't know how people manage to do that. But uh, I, I have, I have a thing of that with the. Uh, I can discuss in the off tangent section. But uh, either way, uh, should we wrap up now? Uh, done with that. Yep. Uh, head over to channel fourteen dot com, channel f o u r t e n dot com, for podcasts and stuff. Yep, uh, everything is on the website, but you want to follow us on our social pages, uh, twitter.com slash uh, channel14 and twitter.com slash thirdworldlinux. We also have other shows called um, Bodega Nights. Where, Third you know, World Gaming. Friends. Yeah, Third World Gaming and Bodega Nights. Everything is on channel14.com and we're trying to, you know, do some stuff there and try to improve it further. So keep on following us. And if you want to support the show, uh, we still have that, right? Yeah. If you want to support the show, uh, head on over to the site and you can see 
Uh, do we still have our Amazon affiliate links? Yeah, I think they're there. Yeah. They, they should Just, be there. Uh, buy something over at the Amazon affiliate links. So, you know, we could do this properly and better. <laughs> it's not there. <laughs> yep. Bye, internet. Oh, but in uh, <laughs> contact at channel14.com, right? Yeah. Yeah. If you have anything, uh, feedback, suggestions, or whatever, uh, contact at channel14.com, and we'll try to get back to you guys. So, uh, cheers. Cheers, internet. Don't forget to create. So if you made it to this point, this is the off-tangent section. Segment. We section. might split into two parts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which we might split into two parts. Yes. That was a doozy, though. Uh, yeah, we, we've been... Dude, we've been recording for almost two hours. <laughs> yeah, we haven't done anything like this before. <laughs> but it's fine. Because uh, we're both very, very fiery theory when it comes to the two topics we discussed. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Can we not discuss anything about <laughs> those things anymore? Dude, what did you hmm. think of the binaural podcast of Bodega Nights? Oh, man. Um, <laughs> it was quite disturbing. It was quite disturbing <laughs> because I kept looking back. At, Who the fuck is sweeping? <laughs> Who the hell is sweeping? Like, was there sweeping behind me? And then a car passes by. There's no car behind me. I'm inside the dining room. <laughs> Quite disturbing, but really great. Uh, I, don't I like the format though. When it's you get fun. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> but it. Paulo did what every binaural podcast I've heard for since do at the beginning of a podcast. Go the ooh ooh. I'm on your left ear. I'm on your right ear. Everybody does that on a binaural podcast. Exactly. Kinda had to. <laughs> the thing that was weird though. Dude, the, the thing, the thing that cracked me up though was, um, Paolo and Miko were doing the ooh thing, right? But, like, they were, um, they weren't moving from left to right. They were just moving, like, away and closer to the mic. So, it just sounded <laughs> like their volume was changing and <laughs> that they weren't, like. <laughs> I'm on your left ear, I'm on your right ear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I, I don't know. It was it was it was really cool though. Like editing is wow, it sounds so three D or whatever. <laughs> yeah, but at, at least, at least, good God, what else, what else do we have to talk about? Uh, I I, had, I should have written what I th- want to talk to you about the off tangent. Now I can't think of anything. <laughs> Because we let it all out in like the past two episodes, dude. But but it wasn't about uh like I have specific off tangent things to discuss with you. Which I forgot for the life of me. I should have written them down. Uh, uh, I don't want to talk about how I'm using the tablet because that could be an episode in itself. Because hmm. what I have right now is the cheapest Samsung tablet, which goes for around five thousand pesos. It's a hundred bucks for a tablet. Less than a hundred dollars, uh, more than a uh, like hundred dollars and change for a freaking Samsung tablet. Like, is it any good? Two thousand ele- for a starter tablet. It is. It does what I wanted to do for a starter tablet. But like two thousand eleven, I remember it. HP uh came out with their tablet that they went on a fire sale for ninety nine dollars. My cousin mm. and I scoured every Best Buy we could find to get ourselves that tablet. It was a time when the iPad was around what a couple. Like three, four hundred dollars. And HP came out with their own tablet, which they immediately fire sailed and to ninety nine dollars. Ninety nine dollars for a tablet. Hey, and that but, was know, a that, that was like a that was eleven years ago. And that was that, that was a Linux based OS, right? Like Tizen or something? Not Tizen. Uh, no, no, not Tizen. Uh, not sure. HP OS or something. Yeah, yeah, that, that was that mobile was Linux OS? based OS. Uh, web web OS. Web OS. Web OS. Web OS. Huh. Yeah. Uh, that's why there's still WebOS projects happening, I think. Yeah, because it's totally like open source. It's it's one of those yeah. open source things. Huh. 
Hmm. But uh, I don't really want to talk about it. Like ugh, that could be an episode in itself as well because I always think tablets were redundant. Like we don't need tablets. Yeah. And, like now they become it's indispensable. For reading. <laughs> Not indispensable. I can still if I can get a. Uh, Freaking hate the term. If I have a phablet right now, not my Firefox OS phone, I go for the phablet over over using the tablet. And there's a reason why our friend, a good friend, Dave. This is Dave's tablet, and he just let me borrow it because he said he told me I'm not using it. Why? I use everything on my phone anyway. I'm like, huh? Really? Okay. So let me try using a tablet. Hmm. So, but that could be an episode in itself. But I don't want to talk about it. Uh, and I haven't played any video games, news articles. But there was something I really wanted to talk to you about. Oh, uh, Sonic Star League. When is Sonic Star League? Uh, I have no idea. Let's see. Um, I haven't been to. I haven't been on Team Liquid in so long. <laughs> Sonic Liquid Star dot League. Net, right? <laughs> because we have to do a marathon of that when you get here. If if it's done or if it's ongoing, we have to watch the Sonic Star League. Uh, March 11, 2014. Oh. Fucking Team Liquid spoiled Nin- the, the Codas. God damn it. Sorry. <laughs> they spoiled Codas. Because, like, it's right on the front page. <laughs> Let's see. The. Uh, Brood War. Oh, yeah, it's so. done. It's done. 10th ten, ten Star League. Yeah, yeah. We should watch, uh, we should watch the KSL. Yeah, the KSL. Um. Wow. Uh, really good? March one, the uh, it's, it's mine versus Quanro. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, M G Quanro, man, <laughs> mind. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow, these guys are kind of. <laughs> hmm. Damn, I haven't heard of those names in centuries. Anyway, oh, what's, uh, what is this? The, the, oh. uh, Piano Star League. Um, it's a new thing. Piano Star League. What a name! Yeah, yeah. March. Wait, what, what, what's the date today? Who's uh, playing? Guemchi, Sharp, Pure, Larva, Sack, Free, Zero, By Lar- Hero, Mind, Last, um, Pure. <laughs> Interesting lineup. Interesting lineup. Yeah. Um, March seven eight. 14, 15. Hmm. There's a BCTV star. You know what? Here's what I'm thinking. If, if, Bru- Broodwar, not Broodwar. If freaking, um, what's this face? Blizzard wants to save, uh, esports. You know what they, what they could easily do? If they wanna um, save esports and keep it Blizzard. Uh-huh. Uh, they could easily do.